The death of Aaron Swartz is bringing attention to the obscure topic of access to academic articles. Swartz had helped develop RSS feeds and Reddit and was the subject of a legal battle over millions of academic papers he had allegedly lifted off MIT computers. One response to the suicide of the 26-year-old prodigy is a Twitter campaign with the hashtag PDF tribute to post academic works for public consumption. The idea for it came from Eva Vivalt, who now joins us uh, by Skype from Hong Kong. Why did you create this? What were you hoping to do by creating the hashtag, which now has become quite popular? Well, I didn't have any idea it would become this big, but I'm very glad that it has. Basically, I was really affected by hearing um, about Aaron's death. And I thought it was completely obvious that people should be sharing their papers. And so I immediately uh, went ahead and uh, pledged to share my own papers. And I started tweeting this at people because I wanted to encourage others to share their papers as well. Um, pretty early on, I got a response from Jessica Richman, who suggested adding a hashtag. Um, I shortened this hashtag and uh, it became PDF tribute and we both kept on tweeting to people after that and it just grew from there really. And, and so what is this question? Is it a question of whether these files should be accessible or whether academics should be more proactive about posting them? Like, wh where, What should people understand about this discussion? It's really about open access to knowledge. I mean, if you think of music sharing, you might be a bit more on the fence about that, but academic papers really seems a bit more fundamental. Um, these are academics who have spent their whole lives working towards building knowledge, and it's really a shame to be restricting that in any way. Uh, I think that's um, perhaps why it's so obvious uh, people and why we've had such a you know great response um, this is it strikes a chord with many people if this is like an easy obvious one then why hasn't it been taken care of by now well I think the way the system was originally set up um, the academics they want to keep on publishing in the top journals and so the top journals really have all the say the academics would be happy to have their papers out there if nothing else it might actually mean somebody would read their paper. Um, but um, it's really the journal owners, um, JSTOR, um, Elsevier, who are maybe the worst offenders here. Is there, I know you're on vacation and you're thousands of miles away, so it's hard to be like right on the, the pulse of this. But is the sense that the last few days is changing this debate and that we might have a different outcome than we wouldn't have had if there wasn't this public airing of this issue? Well, I'd like to think so. Um, it's been really incredible, the response so far. I think right now I just checked and we were at 70 million impressions. Um, 32, 33,000 tweets, it's going up exponentially. I hope that you know the momentum will continue to take it forward. I mean, we'll see, but it's you know been going in a good direction. And so I hope this conversation will you know, yield some actual results and not just be you know, a one uh, Twitter hashtag phenomenon. <laughs> Okay, something you started just 48 hours ago already uh, catching fire. Uh, good luck with the project. Thanks for taking some time. Thank you very much. Thanks.